I'm Dwayne Rolfs of Servants United Parish. I will be leading daily devotions with you. The basis for these daily devotions is from Christ in Her Home, a daily devotional series. The Bible readings are from the Revised Standard Version. Monday, May 3rd, the reading is from Galatians, the fifth chapter, verses 16 through 26. But I say, walk by the Spirit and do not gratify the desires of the flesh. For the spirits of the flesh are against the Spirit, and the desires of the Spirit are against the flesh. For these are opposed to each other, to prevent you from doing what you would. But if you are led by the Spirit, you are not under the law. Now the works of the flesh are plain. In morality, in impurity, licentiousness, idolatry, sorcery, enmity, strife, jealousy, anger, selfishness, dissension, party spirit, envy, drunkenness, carousing, and the like. I warn you as I warned you before that those who do such things shall not inherit the kingdom of God. But the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, self-control. Against such there is no law, and those who belong to Christ Jesus have crucified the flesh with its passions and desires. If we live by the Spirit, let us also walk by the Spirit. Let us have no self-conceit, no provoking of one another, no envy of one another. The Word of the Lord. Living fruitfully. In this reading, the words themselves are powerful. Say jealousy or anger. Then say kindness and gentleness. Right away, you know which one to exhibit and experience. The first two make me feel uncomfortable. The other two make me feel safe. Sorcery isn't something very common in our day, but in the same sentence, Paul names quarrels and envy, anger and factions. Those hit closer to home. The stakes are high here because as redeemed disciples of Christ, we do not live in isolation. Life and faith are not just about God and me. The words and traits in this passage aren't primarily about making me feel comfortable. They are about how, how I bless my neighbor. The writer here is like a loving parent who knows what is best for the child, but also who sort of, what sort of person the ch parent wants the child to become. The writer urges the Galatians and us to be guided by the Spirit so our fruitful lives can bless the lives of others. Our prayer. Lord God, help me as your child to choose well how to live, that my life may bless others in Christ's name. Amen. Please join me in the Lord's Prayer. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen.